Hi lovelies, hi babies. Welcome back to my channel, Living with Muna. Sorry for the background noise. The owner of the room, they play with it. I know if you make a stop, go chase them out of my logo. I never get paid look at the film this video. So please bear with me. So um, today I'm going to be telling you guys how to save money in a private university, especially my school, Gregory University, Utsu. Most some of you probably talk to me on Instagram. Are you probably making me feel like a mini celeb? <laughs> I'm so glad you guys reached out to me on Instagram. It just gives me a, it just, it just gives me so much joy that people actually um, learn about my school on my YouTube channel, and people actually like know what to bring to my school um, through my YouTube channel. It just gives me like a lot of joy that I'm helping people. I love helping people, and yes, I just want to tell you. I reach out to me. You guys watching this video, you that have watched my previous video, please. If you see me in school, please do well to walk up to me. Even if I'm frowning, I, I might be frowning because of the sun or something. But even if I'm frowning, just walk up to me. Trust me, you will make my day. I'm not even joking. I always forget to say this on my videos and I don't know why. But please, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. That big red button, please tap on it. Like. Comment what you think, reach out to me on Instagram, MonaFrank043. Um, I still have a TikTok page, MonaFrank. I've put everything on the screen, and the link will be in my bio. So, yes, so I'm going to be looking here, but I kind of resist this view. So, I have to look, look at myself in my camera. So, yes, ways to save money in my school. Number one, always eat food from girls' cafeteria. I know. That the boys have to eat food is better, but the portions are smaller, and then you end up buying two, three portions, spending close to one k in just a, a meal. Is it worth it? Why right here? We're trying to reduce. We're trying to reduce cost here. We're not talking about whether the food is it or not. What will make you alive is what we're talking about. Girls' food is okay. Girls' cat food is okay. It's not bad. Trust me, it's not bad, and the food is much, and it's just for 400 naira. So you better buy it than buy food of 700 naira, and you still not be full. So just go to that girl's cafe and save your money. And then number two, your mates who have money are gonna be buying chicken, 1,000 fish. I want food then. Why? The small meat they put for that food not do you? I want to put a video of the of the mates. And they put the meat is very very small in girls' calf. Uh, uh, your food is found in I want your meat to be big. The meat is very very small, but it's better like it's better than nothing. At, at least there's protein. So just manage it. Don't end up buying chicken and fish and the rest of it. Talk <laughs> no idea for life. Don't even buy drinks, nothing. The third one is anything you're doing, do it yourself. You want to fetch water, fetch it yourself. You want to carry fetch your gallon, fetch it yourself. You want to wash your clothes, wash it yourself. You want to arrange your room, arrange it yourself. Don't pay nobody to do things for you. Remember, we are trying to save money here. Do you get? Whenever you have money, you cannot live the big girl life. Sorry. But for now, we are trying to save money here. So all these things, do them yourself. There are people you could pay to do them. Wash your clothes, fetch your water, clean your room. But instead of paying them, just do it yourself. Yeah? Then the fourth the fifth one, the fourth or fifth one is do not order food from outside. You go order food from my school from different people that deliver to my school, but like they are expensive. So do not order food from outside. There are some people I think Mama B her food is big and also cheap because she's like Mama puts her hair. That one she's even close to school. She go collect too much money for delivery. I'm not order from her though. But her food is very sweet. Don't ask me how I fit in that food. I can order for her. Just know that her food is very sweet, right? So you can order from her and it's cheap. So that if you if you really want to stop eating girls food, have a change of you know, your taste buds are eating too much girls food. You can go and order from Mama B. Don't go and order from people that are too expensive. You guys are trying to save money here. Then <clears throat> the fifth, I'll be sixth one, I'll be even seventh one. You know, come to my school, and then the fees are much. You know, the fees are too much. 
and then you're like, how would I resist this? If you're a very tolerant, if you tolerate people a lot, or if you like can stand on your own a lot, just go to, there are accommodations you don't pay for in my school. Um, the six bedded in hostel A's and B's, they don't pay for accommodation there. So if you don't want to pay for accommodation, that is 350 or 200k. Um, we can there's actually few accommodation there, but you know, you just have to learn to tolerate people. So if you can tolerate people and leave the people and you're this big happy people, happy, happy person, please can go to the free accommodation to help reduce the cost. Then uh, most talk I'm going to talk about is about food, honestly, because food is a lot of money in that school. Don't buy takeaways. Do not buy takeaways. Whatever I do, don't buy takeaway. Either I, I don't know about you, but me, I'm I, I'm not shy. What's about me is that if you're not buying my food for me, I can do whatever I want to do with the food. It's either you eat your food there to save costs, because takeaway is 100, 100 and 150. And then take away for 10 days, how much? 1k. It's spending like 3k, 4k or takeaway in a month. Take away, not be even the food they buy. Take away. I don't go do that. I don't go feed you that kind of thing. Oh? So either you buy food and eat it there, or after class, you go back to your hostel, collect your flask or your plate or the takeaway that you bought once. You wash it and keep it collect it and go and buy on that food. That's what I do. But sometimes I buy takeaway. You know, when I'm with people that buy takeaway, I buy takeaway. But if 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 you wish me here. I will just carry my plate, this dumb for boys club, they eat my food. And you can, um, I get, I have a bigger uh, plate, so that's what I take, so that they will put bigger food for me. <laughs> so they will put bigger food for me. So yeah, don't buy takeaways. The other thing is, when you're coming to this school, make sure to get a lot of provision. You know, Omad, one meal a day, we're well, gonna go on a diet now. Omad, Omad, Omad. One meal a day because there's a point when I was eating only a meal a day, but I was not starving. I um, what was I saying? So I, I was not starving, <coughs> right? But I was eating once a day because I had provisions. I had provisions, um, I eat provisions, and then I eat after only afternoon food, morning food, provision, afternoon food, um, normal food, just scarf. Night food or snacks, provisions, guys. Bring enough provision. Bring your drugs. Bring your drugs. Bring all those drugs, malaria, everything. Type of bring all of them. Don't get to school because when do we? When you will go to that clinic and say you have malaria, my time you're coming as I pay like fifteen k, close to even twenty k. So just bring your drugs, right? So guys, these are the ways you could reduce costs of living in Gregory University. You can, if you're in Gregory University already and then there are ways that you reduce the cost of living, please tell me in the educate me because I want to reduce my own cost of living. Although I've really reduced it, but I want to reduce it, reduce it, reduce it. Educate me and educate fellow fresh not fellow freshers and educate the freshers coming to our daily school. If you have questions about Gregory University, make sure to reach out to me because I will give you a honest an honest an honest a honest I will give you greatest answer i'm not i'm not gonna lie to you i'm going to tell you how it is i'm going to give you the best answer so reach out to me on instagram please don't forget to like share subscribe comment and don't forget to subscribe bye my babies see you in my next video remember to remember remember to greet me if you see me don't greet me remember to say hi if you see me bye and you guys want me to be posting to this Three days a week. Just thank you so much. Tell me whatever you want me to make a video of in the comment section. I'll do a video of that. And I hope you're preparing because I resume school next week, Sunday. I hope you're preparing. I'm ready to relax my hair. I hope you're preparing though. Start preparing. <laughs> Bye.